Tired of picking up pesky scratches all over your watch? Protect your pride and joy with the Watch Protect Company. You can choose on site from liquid skin or this protective film here. Easy to apply, invisible once fitted, totally removable and completely scratch resistant. Use the code on screen to get a discount. So protect your pride and joy at thewatchprotect.com. Hello and welcome back to TGTV and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Watch Talk. Now, as with all Watch Talk episodes, it is brought to you with Grail Watch Club. Many of you will have heard of Grail Watch Club before, but if you haven't, it is your way to get an incredible watch for a few quid. It is a giveaway business founded by myself and a friend, James, Mr. No Date, and we give away an incredible watch every single time. In previous episodes, I've tried to time the episode with what we're giving away at that particular time. The tickets sell so quick, I'm not going to bother this time. So right now, on the screen, I'm going to show you what you can win this week for a few quid. You can enter right now and the tickets actually support Roy Castle Lung Cancer Foundation as well. So you'll be donating to a great cause and also potentially winning a watch. We've tried to make the odds as good as possible. We've tried to balance it between ticket prices and odds. Not only that, I'll be handing over the watch in person to the winner. So it's not scammy. Someone actually wins it and we've given away I think eight or nine watches so far. I remember recently handing over a Starbucks Submariner amongst other things. I'll leave the links below to that. Get involved. Good luck with that. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So today's watch is actually a watch you would have seen me wearing on my social media very recently. You would have seen it on my Instagram, you would have seen it potentially on my channel whilst driving around. It is a Patek Philippe 5524G. For those of you that aren't up on your reference numbers, including me actually, I don't really use the reference numbers all that often, that is their pilot's watch. This is a watch that came out and was received fairly controversially. It wasn't a watch that people really liked on the whole. A lot of people said, why are Patek doing a pilot's watch? What is it with Patek and pilot's watch? They've never done one before. They're just jumping on a trend. Go away, Patek. However, that is not strictly true, as we will see as we get into the video. So here we go then, a little unboxing. Obviously, I've opened the box before and I've been wearing it and I've actually changed the strap as well, which we will get onto. So the G on the name denotes it being white gold. It is a 42 millimeter dial. And to all intents and purposes, this is a Patek sports watch. It's got the 324 caliber inside it. There's a dual time zone mechanism indicating local and home time and the local and home day night indication in the apertures on the dial too. The local day is by hand and there is a sweep second hand function on there as well, as you'd expect with an automatic Patek movement. It's a heavy piece being white gold and you've obviously got the movement displayed in the back there as well. The hands are a really nice blue colour and overall the piece has got a lot of presence. It is not your typical Patek Philippe. It is part of the Calatrava line so it's not you know an Aquanaut or a Nautilus quite clearly and um, it is part of the Calatrava line but it's one of the most sporty iterations of the Calatrava that it has ever existed and there probably will ever likely to be. I would argue this is not a dress watch at all, particularly not with the strap I put on it. Now, out of the box then, the strap that actually comes on it is, I don't know where I put it, aha, here's one I made earlier. This is the strap that actually comes out of the box with it. Nothing really against it, but it's just not very me. If you look at my collection today, I don't really wear a lot of stuff on leather or on croc. And it's not me being a militant vegan, I just don't wear um, dress watches at all. I usually dress like a 15 year old um, and the kind of the dressy vibes don't really work. So. Out of the box, it will come with that. Patek, if you ask them nicely when you buy one, and I'm sure dealers won't thank me for saying this, they will probably give you a free strap option that you can order when you get the watch. And there are a number of different options available from Patek. Um, in fact, I've got a kind of a sailcloth uh, khaki type vibe coming for this watch. But in the meantime, I actually went on to Barton's watch bands. Uh, they're not a sponsor of mine. They can sponsor me if you want. So Barton's, if you're watching this, holler. Uh, I went on Barton's watch bands and actually bought this green rubber strap for it. They're available on Amazon. It arrived the next day. I think it was about 20 quid. The lug width is 21 millimeters and the original buckle that comes with the watch is not this one. I've had to replace that as well. And in fact, I'm gonna replace it again because I got this one wrong. The buckle width, if you're looking for one of these, I think is 20 millimeters on the Barton watch band. And most bands you find that have a 21 mil lug width will probably have around a 20 millimeter buckle width as well. So you will need to replace the buckle as well. Bartons come with a buckle, but the buckle is poo and you don't want a poo buckle. So I actually found 
Tech Buckle on eBay, 18 millimeters uh, and it's slightly too narrow, but it does just about work on this and you can bodge it in. So I'm really, really happy with this watch. And I think in terms of where the tech market is at, this represents extraordinarily good value for money. We're gonna swap it over here. And if you're interested in this piece, there is a video on that on my channel. And if it's not up yet, you'll see it very soon. It's of course the Tudor FXD and it's the MN21. Market value wise then, this piece, contrary to popular belief, on all Patex actually is not at overs. You can pick this particular watch up right now on the pre-owned market, even brand new and sealed for less than list price. So the list price on this, as of the point this video goes out, it's actually just gone up. It's 42,810 pounds for this, which seems like a lot of money. And yeah, it is obviously it's 42 grand, but um, when you actually look at what you're getting, which is effectively a sports, Patek piece with a complication, albeit not a very complicated one, in a precious metal, in today's market, that's really good. Not only that, but if you go on the gray market, so Chrono24 or any of these places, you can pick these up for mid to late 30s. So that is a good price, as far as I'm concerned. I think it's a really good price, particularly when you consider even a steel Aquanaut these days is, uh, what? 50, 60 grand minimum at the moment. Uh, and if you look at the kind of the counterpart, a white gold counterpart Aquanaut, sort of equivocal to this, you're looking at 150 to 200 grand easily. My white gold 5168, which I featured on this channel before, that is now market value 150 to 230 grand. I don't know where it sits in that range, um, but I've seen those prices kind of listed. Watchfinder have got one for 170, to the point at which this video goes out, it'll probably be 250 next week. Um, so I actually think if you can get one of these in 30 something grand, that is a hell of a watch. And you don't see scumbags wearing these. They haven't gone the scumbag route. You don't get drug dealers going and buying Patek pilots. You get them after the Nautilus, after the Aquanaut, but you don't get scumbags wearing these. And I think they're, they are really an unsung hero. And interestingly as well, at dealers now, you will not be able to just walk in and get these. These aren't apparently stock watches anymore. As of 2022, these aren't just gonna be watches that dealers have for sitting around in stock. Most of you will be familiar walking into a dealership and seeing a pilot in the window. That will be no more. They're not gonna do that anymore. This will be a weightless watch. And indeed it is a weightless watch. So if your dealer has any in stock, I would snaffle one. I paid full retail for it. Um, I bought it from an authorized dealer. I like the watch. If I wasn't, there wasn't an element of wanting other spicy bits down the line, I would have bought it sort of gray market quite happily because I would have saved some money. Um, but in the interest of kind of preserving a dealer relationship and kind of getting some pieces down the line, I bought this from my dealer. I don't think that actually the 41,000 pounds that I spent on it will seem like bad value within the next six months. I think these things will rock it. When word gets out that they are a weightless piece and they're unavailable to get pretty much now, um, they will do well. They're an unsung hero, but not for long. I think it's a good piece. I absolutely love it. I put it on this rubber band and I wear it all over the place. And also something I didn't know when I found out when I picked it up, these are actually 60 meters water resistant as well. So you can have a little splash in this watch. Good news, very good news. Let me know in the comments what you think of my Patek 5524G. It's also available in rose gold. They've actually made less rose gold ones than they have the white gold. There is a rose gold variant with a brown dial on it. Uh, that came out after this particular piece. And in fact, Patek made a pilot's watch back in the 30s. So not many people know that, but Patek do have a history with pilot's watches. So it's not just something they've plucked out of the blue that they've never done before. It's very definitely um, a very, very small part of their history. And another thing that a lot of people don't know is the watches actually started with pilots. They had pocket watches and they wanted a way of uh, being able to see the time without kind of taking a watch out and holding it. So they actually put the pocket watches strapped to their wrist. So pilots watches are the original watches. There we go, fact for the day. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna try and keep these episodes a little bit more brief rather than waffling on giving you the history of my life and the history of everything. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let me know below what you think of my Patek 5524. Have you got one? Do you want one? Do you think it's rubbish? Do you think it's great? I wanna hear all about it in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. And before you leave, make sure you go and enter with Grail Watch Club and good luck. Whatever this week's watch is available to win on there, Good luck with it, and if you're really unlucky, I'll be seeing you and handing it over to you very soon. Stay tuned for more episodes. Go and check out the Watch Talk playlist on my channel because I'll be talking through all of these pieces if I haven't already 
over on the channel and there's about 20 other videos to go and watch as well so enjoy i'll catch you soon bye